are back on the exclusive film and video report. Joined this week, not by James Rana, but the lovely Rachel Purell, what? who has returned <laughs> to talk about the uh, TV show. Now, last time we were together, we talked about... Uh, Wait, can I just interrupt you? Sure. That that music, the theme music? Yes. On this segment? Yes. It sounds like we should come in with James Bond's type voice. I know, we should. We should come guns blazing. We, we should. should. Yeah. Well, instead, this is just what we have. Let's try that. It's Let's funny. We do have, a, we have exciting music and a very mellow delivery. Yeah. <laughs> but the music's like, bang! Yeah. And we're like, hey, guys. Maybe the music <laughs> compensates for my mellowness. But uh, last time we talked, we talked about Friends, and I had made a promise that I was going to watch my 32-some-odd episodes that I had on VHS and bone up for a part de, <laughs> and uh, that didn't happen. So instead... Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Well, these things take time, you know. They do. It took me seven years to actually get around to watching the show. I thought we could talk about I Dream of Jeannie. We had the sad okay. we had the sad passing recently of uh, Larry Hagman. That was uh, several months ago. And, of course, uh, he was uh, Major Nelson on the show. Or I think actually, a, was he Major? He became Major Nelson. I don't know either. He became General Nelson. He was Private Nelson. He was Mr. Nelson. <laughs> he was Major Nelson. What was his first name? I don't know what his first oh, name was. Ma- Master. No, it, it was Major <laughs> Nelson. And then he he's on a, uh, you know, it was a mission for NASA. He was an astronaut. And he lands on a deserted uh, desert isle. As you may remember, and uh, kind of like Gilligan's Island, he did, right. <gasps> we need to do Gilligan's Island. We can talk one about day. that too. But we, f- he finds uh, uh, an old bottle and he rubs it, and of course the genie comes out, and it's Barbara Eden, and she's willing to do anything. Kind of like what you did with me, exactly. <laughs> Look, there's the bottle over there. there. It is. We keep it. She on the comes shelf. out, except I, I, I don't... except I'm not willing to do anything. That's for true. <laughs> You're not willing to do anything for me, and I don't. See At least your... nothing good. And I, I don't see your navel either. But uh, <laughs> Barbara Eden comes out, and she's prepared to grant him wishes. And his first wish is to be rescued from the island, which she makes happen. And she's uh, she lives to serve him, yet at the same time, Jeannie has her own ideas. And her own needs. She has her own needs, her own ideas, and she feels that what Major Nelson is, is wishing for, these aren't particularly wise wishes, and that, <laughs> that uh, her ideas are better. She teaches him a lesson. It's a morality thing. It's tale, true. Even episode. though she seems like ditzy and... I mean, the truth is... Right, Jeannie's on top of it all. He'd be a mess without her. And his buddy was uh, Major Healy, played by Bill Daly, who went on to play a similar character on the Bob Newhart show as the next-door neighbor. Right. Um, And and, uh, my favorite character is, I guess, the general who would come in. It It was always a situation where Jeannie would do something, and then she would disappear, and Major Nelson would be left holding the bag. Looking ridiculous, like, maybe helpless the, in a sombrero helpless. or something, and then the general would come to the door and look and at him and catch him at and, the and, worst time, right? At the worst time, and then Major Nelson would have to come up with some ridiculous, sort of ex- ridiculous story. So it was the comedy of embarrassment. I think it that was. was the joy of the show. A lot of people, a lot of men, obviously, were big fans of Barbara Eden and wanted to see her every week. She was a gorgeous woman, but there was more to it than that. It was the comedy of embarrassment, and of course, because it was a fantasy show. They could do anything because Jeannie could, you know, she'd blink and uh, she'd put her uh, arms together. Her arms together and right. she would put, like nod her, her head, head once and then close her eyes. I still do that. But she put one arm first right. and then the other arm over. There you they go. They can't see it, but I'm doing and it. She would, right. And then she would she would bob her head and blink. And then after a while, you know, a show like that, that's it's called a high concept show, you know, when you have, it's not just two people hanging out in an apartment and going to work. It's it's a fantasy character, and it's it's a high concept show. And after a while, the ratings started to slip. So to goose up the ratings to get to get people back into the show, they decided to get them married. Right. Which wound up being like the death knell of the show. In fact, I think it ended right with the with the, wedding. the wedding. I think that was the end of yes. it because no. I think that maybe they had one season where they were married. But Nobody wanted to. You're see talking that. about the first episode. Yes. It reminds me of a joke. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there are two guys stranded on a deserted island, and uh, there's this bottle, and they rub the bottle, and a genie pops out, and she says to the guys that they each get three, no, they each get one wish. Okay. They each get one wish. Uh, no, there's three people. They each get one wish. The first guy- Are you sure which joke you're telling? Yes, it's, yes, okay. yes. Okay, three people on a deserted island- and uh, they rub the bottle, the genie comes out, they each get a wish. The first guy 
his wish is to go home to his family. Okay. Okay. The second guy wants to uh, go home to his wife, and he just had a new baby. And the third guy, when it was time for his wish, he said, well, I'm kind of lonely out here now. My wish is for the other two guys to come back and That's keep a good me joke. company. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's kind of awful. By the way, there was an I Dream of Jeannie uh, reunion movie, but Larry Hagman decided not to participate. Now, you know that's got to that suck, Larry. right? They got Wayne Rogers what? from MASH. Why would he, why wouldn't because, he want to participate? Because at the time, Larry Hagman was- he not was a, feeling well? Was he no, sick? No, no. Larry Hagman was a difficult guy. He was not happy being on I Dream of Jeannie. He was an actor, like a lot of these so actors- So he was still bitter. Like Adam West or whatever, they, they thought they were going to have big movie careers and it didn't happen mm-hmm. for them. So- he was angry all through I Dream. You'd never know it. If you watch the show, he's wonderful in the show. Right. And he didn't get along with anybody. Mm-hmm. He didn't get along with Barbara Eden. Didn't get along. They didn't have fights. He just went off to his trailer and didn't deal with it. Right. So he was very, very difficult, and he was drinking a lot at the time. His fear was that he was going to be forever known as Major Nelson from I Dream of Jeannie. He would never oh, get right. any work. So now he had he's a second on a, show, a hit show, a hit show, Dallas, a more serious, him, type right? Of and show. he says to himself, "Well, I've I've established myself as this character, so I'm more than just Major Nelson." Right. And they started having in the past, I don't know, five or six years, I Dream of Genie reunions at mm-hmm. conventions and things. And well, they, they made re, they did a remake of they did Dallas again too, and they did Dallas again, yeah. and, and Larry Hagman came back. But in these I Dream of Genie reunions, they spent time with each other for the first time in forty years. Right. And they and they and Larry Hagman liked everybody, and and Bill Daly told the story about, you know, they only really got to know each other over the past five years when mm-hmm. they were doing these conventions, and they loved Larry. It's just a shame that all that time was yeah. wasted. Yeah. You know that they could have been buddy buddy. Moral of the story is, don't hold grudges. There you go. And also, you know, I I suppose, in in some way, I suppose it's nice that they did get together and become friends and sort of like the way we imagined that they must have been on the show it it didn't really pan out until the very end anyway but at least it panned out at least it panned out that's our discussion here on the exclusive film and video report i'm gonna just take the the image of you holding the scissors pointing (laughs) at me as a sign that you are not entirely thrilled with this exclusive And though the scissors report. has nothing to do with it. I just like to hold things. Don't you understand that I love talking about the past? No. That the past comes alive I when do. I open my mouth? I do. I do. And I appreciate it. The scissors has nothing to do with any animosity or violent tendencies. I mean, I have those. I'm yeah. just suppressing them. Right, right now, yeah, sure. No, if you had a, uh, a stuffed animal in front of me, that's what I'd be holding. We're done. Okay. Steam, Steam song's playing. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.